What are you Toa? Toa? Can you hear me? Hello? Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Hello, Koa. Koa? Yes. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's good. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Yeah, I feel good too. Okay. Tell me about your weekend. How was your weekend? I just at home. Oh, you just at home? And watch okay. television with my family. Watch television, I see. What are you watching? Just some what, films. what is the name of the movie? Uh, is it Vietnamese movie or American movie? It's Vietnamese movie. Oh, I see. So what is the story about? Mm, it's a long story. Ah, so it is not a movie. Uh, it's a series, right? A series movie. You can, did you just not watch it one time you watch it right like like a series you watch it today tomorrow it's like that right yes okay okay is it an action movie no it isn't oh i see uh is it about family Mm, maybe. Mm, all so. right. So I have this uh, movie. It's a horror movie. I am fond of horror movie. From the title is from, and it you can only see this in uh in Prime videos. Are you familiar with this one? 
Prime Videos. Prime Video is like a Netflix. You're familiar with Netflix, right? Mm, yes, I do. Yes, Prime Video is like a Netflix. And in that, in Prime Video, you can watch the movie from. But you need to subscribe it first. <laughs> okay. Now, I don't know. I don't have time for it. But one of my friends uh, share uh, a series. Actually, it is a series. Share episode for to me. And I like that movie. It's an action. And it's a sort of family's movie. Action and horror. The theme, three themes in just one movie. Okay, I can hear something. What is it? It is a light. Okay, it's, uh, it's like uh, it's like a music. Are you listening to music too? What? Uh, it's like a music. I can hear a music. Are you alone in your house again, Koa? No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, you're, just, you're with your mom, yeah? I'm at home with my dad. Oh, that's great. Okay. Okay, so you have cough, you have runny nose. So, how are you now? Do you still have cough? Mm, a little bit. A bit, okay. But you feel fine than before, right? Yes, I am. Okay, all right. So, are you ready for our class? Mm, yes, I'm ready. Okay, now, mm, in our previous class, we've learned vocabulary and also read about... Mm. And also read about mm -hmm. GPS maybe. Yeah, okay. The other word is geocaching, okay? <laughs> it's a game. We'll read about this one. Right? About Claudius yes, Block about geocaching. Okay, now please read the read the reading strategy. Can you see the lesson? Multiple choice question may test factual information detail or a general. The writer of opinion, the writer intention. You can sometimes, but not always, tell what a question is testing by reading the first part without the option A to D. Okay, thank you, Koa. Thank you very much. All right, so first you must... First, give a general or factual information or the detailed or general about what you read next you know you must know what is the writer's opinion and the writer's intention when we say about factual information what is the the text about for example claudia's blog what is it about is it about geocaching right koa now here in writer's opinion she thought that geocaching is fun Here, the writer's intention about the Claudia's blog, her intention is to give us information what is geocaching and how to play geocaching. Right, Koa? Yes. Yes, that is. Some, you can sometimes, but not always, tell what a question is testing by reading the first part without the option. Okay, here are the questions. Are you ready? Let me make this speaker first.
it's like this. Uh, this one, uh, have you tried it? Have you experienced this, Kawa? This part of my head is aching. Let's go. Okay, these are the questions. Can you please answer task two? Okay, you can read it by yourself or if you want to know the answer. If you know the answer, you can answer right away. Okay, number one. To take part in dude catching, you need A, mobile phone with GPS, B, mobile phone with GPS and toy or gift. C, a mobile phone, a toy or gift, and a logbook. D, nothing. Guess yourself. Okay, you can read it again if you want to. If you know the answer, you can circle. Excuse me. Tell me when you're ready. Maybe A. Maybe A. Okay, let's see. Maybe A. Ta -da. Very good. You're right. A phone with a GPS. Okay, good job. Now let's go to number two. The activity of Duke Cushing. It's about geocaching. A. Began in 19th century, but only become popular after 2020s or 20s. B. Was originally only popular one region of England, but now has all fan, has fans all over the world. Was called letterboxing when it's first invented. D. Has similarities with 19th century games. Uh, look at the third paragraph. Can't see. <laughs> And I choose D. That's correct. Letter D. Okay, good job. Uh, here, you can see it. Can you see the red lines? So, uh, can you see the red lines? Okay, you know, however, similar games did exist in the past. For example, in the middle of 19th century. Let's go. Number three. When you find a gift in a Jukashe, Jukashe, you make a note of the gift on the website, can borrow the gift, but have to return it. C, are allowed to take the gift if you replace it with something else. D, take a photo of the gift as a proof that you have found it.
Future C. Let's look. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Now, can you see the red lines here in paragraph four? Uh, two caches. Please read the red lines. The caches often contain a ton of this. You are welcome to take this, but why do you relate it? It's something you have got to do. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. Number four. The writer thinks that the most enjoyable kind of jukashes is when A, you have, you have to find a public webcam. B, you have to find a series of jukashes. C, you have to find a jukashe and then hide in a different place. D, you simply have to find one jukashe. Okay, you can read the la this. Uh, you choose what letter, Koa? B. B. Okay, let's look. Okay, good job. So, why your answer is letter B? Because we have to find. Yeah, <coughs> a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. So <coughs> Okay, good job. Let's go. Number five. The writer believes the fumble after dark event. Okay, this is the last paragraph of Cloud of the Right. This is the last paragraph. Um, the writer believes the fumble after dark event is less fun than geocaching of couple friends. Would be a very enjoyable event to attend. Is only suitable for a <coughs> people. D needs to attract more people. You can find the answer on the on the last paragraph of this vlog.
<laughs> C. Okay, let's look. And the answer is B. It would be a very enjoyable to attend. Okay. Look, can you see it? For example, the final of the dark event is held every November in Sweden and sounds like great fun. Okay. okay. Now let's go to number six. The writer has written the blog mainly to. Why does the writer write this blog? A. Suggest that people try to caching. B. Explain the differences between letter boxing and geocaching. A. A. Yay! That's great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, good job. Okay, that's it. Good job for that, Koa. All right. So, Koa, let's go to task three. Okay. Now, here, reading that, uh, read the reading strategy and the questions in task two. These are the questions, right? There are six questions. Then answer the following questions. Which questions in task two about writer's intention? Let's start with the writer's intention. One is GPS and a phone. GPS, uh, what question is it? Question one or two? One. 
one, okay? Look. <laughs> okay. Can you see the answer? Okay, so which uses talks about A, the writer's intention. The, in the writer's intention, number six, right? The writer is reading the blog mainly to. Okay, here, the writer's opinion. The writer thinks it's the most enjoyable kind. Of course, it's are the opinions of the writer. When we say factual information, it's about the information of geocaching. Okay, Koa? So take question number one and two, three. Okay. Um, Koa? All right, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it, Koa. And now let's talk about preposition, okay? Do you know what is prepositions? Mm. Uh, sorry, Koa, I can't hear you clearly. No, I don't. I know you don't. Okay, now can you please read first this? The words there? Across, all along, all over, below, beside, by. Yeah, thank you. Those are the people station, okay? Uh, preposition usually combined the, combine the noun phrase, okay? Like this five here. Now, are you familiar with the number one here? Okay, here, match the prepositions below with definitions one to five. Underline them in paragraph one to three of the blog. Preposition across, lower than. Let's try number one, okay? Below, lower than below. Do you get it? Okay, I'll send you a picture of a preposition, okay? This will help okay. you. Also, I'm going to write meaning first, too. All right, here in the chat. Do you want to... I want, uh, I want to write in the chat or just... Ah, uh, okay. Uh, right here, okay? The meaning of preposition. Okay? Preposition is... Right, the preposition. Preposition. Are you a good right, typer, Koa? What? Typer. Are you a good typer? It's like you type like this. <laughs> Me, I need to see the keyboard because I I can't familiarize the to the keyboards. Where's that? Where's that shows the relationship the relationship between a noun a noun or a pronoun. Is it the correct okay. Or pronoun and some other words. Words. Okay. That is preposition. For example, let me give you an example of preposition. Okay. Can I, do you have a phone with you, Koa? Oh, but do you have a, a Zalo in your computer? Yes, I do. Okay, very good. Uh, you can, you're going to read this one. Where are you? Sorry, Kawa, I can't see your... You're here. 
you change your profile, right? Okay, can you see it now? Yes, I can. Okay, the prepositions are with what else? At, from, uh, into, right? Can you please read all the all of it? Okay, can you please unmute, Kawa? Kawa? A few, a little bit, yeah. Okay, it's a few, right? Okay, now here we're going to talk about these uh, prepositions only, okay? Now you're gonna match the prepositions below the definition, okay? For example, number one, lower than below, okay? Number two, what do you think is the answer? At many points on something long, Okay, try to guess, Koa. Uh, all along. Yeah, very good, see? <laughs> That's correct. Number three.
Uh, let's look. Across. Okay, you've got chance. And many parts of place across. Across by. Across by. All over. Okay, so I see. And many parts of the place across all over. I see number four. Number four is beside. Next to beside. Very good. Near at the side of. Bye. Of by. Very good. Okay, when we say below, the, the meaning of below, that means lower than, right? All right. Okay, yes. At many points of something long, we can also say all along, okay? All okay, right. So, in many parts of place across, you can also use all over. All over the place, just like that. Next to means next to or beside, okay? And here okay. at the side of by. Very good, Koa. Good job. See? Um, it's like your grammar is improving. Koa, good job for that. Okay, now let's go to the next page. I say I haven't blogged for a while. Oh, this is another blog. Uh, okay, this is the, the, the blog of Claudia, right? It's still the blog of Claudia. Same with the first one. Now, you're going to underline the preposition in paragraphs. Uh, can you see the picture? Koa, the picture I've sent in Zalo. Yes, I can. Okay, very good. You can look at it and find the preposition. Uh, sorry, the prepositions in the blog. Where can we find the across? Oh, I, I've seen it. Can you see the all over in the black? I am finding. I'm going to send a link for you, okay? After this class, I'm going to send a link.
have you heard about the Ukraine, Koa? Mm, sorry, can you say again? Have you heard about Ukraine? My brain. <laughs> no, no, it's not my brain. Ukraine. Ukraine and you, Ukraine. I don't know. That one. Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. So what Everybody you, knows that. Yeah. What, so what is your uh, opinion about that? I think they don't need to war. Why did... Oh, yes, of course. Why do you think of that? I don't know, but I don't like war. Yeah. Okay. So, they... Some people thought that is the first step of World War Three. Do you agree? They... they there may be a world war. Yes, I do. Why? Why do you agree? Because Russia is very powerful. Yeah, and and the Russian leader, Mr. Putin, right? Vladimir yes, Putin. Uh, he said that if some nation or some country would help Ukraine. There will be, what he said, I forget about that. It's like that he will, he will fight with the country that helped the Ukraine, right? If that happens, mm. maybe it's going to be World War III. Now, are you prepared for that? No, I have not. Of course. And I am hoping that it would, wouldn't be happen, right? Okay, so I think our time is over, Koa. Let's let's answer this next time, okay? Okay. Okay, I thought I think you're still not feeling well, right? Mm -hmm. A little bit tired. Oh, I see, you're a little bit tired. Okay, now drink your medicine, Koa. Okay. Okay, now I want you to, uh, in your spare time, uh, read about prepositions, okay? okay? I'm gonna send you a link, a video in YouTube for you to watch, okay? All right. So I will next... watch it. Okay, so goodbye, Koa. See you next time. See you.